Okay, so let me ask you a question. What do you know? Yeah, what do you know? And what can you find out? You know, if you don't know something, what do you do? Sometimes you go to the computer and you go in here and you search and you go, aha, I know how many seeds are in a strawberry. Or I can search in here and go, aha, I know how many stitches are in a baseball. Or I know that a hippopotamus can run this fast. Did you know how fast a hippopotamus can run? If you really want to know something, a lot of times you'll get online, get on your computer and you'll look it up. But when it comes to knowing something about someone, how much do you know about someone? Do you have a friend of yours that you know what their favorite kind of ice cream is? Do they like lemonade or do they like tea or do they like cake? Do they like pies? What video game do they like? And what TV show do they like to watch? And what's one of their favorite books that they've read? And what do you know about them? There's so much that you can know about someone, but how do you know that? And then let me ask you this, who knows about you? Your parents, your grandparents, your friends, like me as a cousin Ray Ray. Yeah, my cousin Ray, I know you, you know everything about me. Let me tell you about cousin Ray Ray. I don't have time to tell you about it, but just ask me later. We can know all kinds of things about people, but how do we know them? And how do we get to know it? Do we have to go online and look something up to find something out about someone? Or do we really have a relationship with them? Do we really know what they like and what they're all about? So I want to ask you, who is someone that knows you? How do they know you? And how do you know someone else? Also, what is something about you that maybe people don't know? So how many of you have learned something that maybe you didn't know about somebody else? Or you talked about how, how you really can know someone. Yeah, you can look it up online, you can read a book, but how do you really know someone? And then let me ask you, who really knows you? Well, I'm sure you had a few different answers, but when it comes down to you, who really, really knows you? Well, I'd like for us to talk today and about how you can really know someone is the fact that God knows all about us. Yeah, knows about you, knows about me. Yes, knows everything. Say it with me, ready? Everything, where I'm from, you say everything. That means everything but it's just called everything. Say everything. So I'm gonna look in the Bible, and hey, I encourage you, if you don't have a Bible, make sure that you get one. You can have one like this, that's my first hands-on Bible. You can get a big Bible like what your grandma has, what your mom has, your dad has, you know, whomever. But I'm gonna read to you, and this is in Psalms, and Psalms is in the Old Testament, and it's in Psalms 139, 139th chapter, and this is from David. Now, David was a king, okay? Now he was big and powerful, and like he could do whatever he wanted. Like he could walk in and be like, I'm David, I'm the king. And, and people have to do what he says. But get this, this is from someone who had all the power, everything in the world. Listen to what it said. It said, God investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I am like an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back. I am never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say. Before I start the first sentence, I look behind me and you're there. Then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassurance presence coming and going. This is too much. It's too wonderful. I can't take it all in. And it goes on and it says, you shaped me first inside out. Even when, when I was in my mother's womb, you were the one who formed me. You see, God is the one who has made us. God is the one who knows about us, knows everything about us. It says in Ephesians, it says that we are God's workmanship, you and me, that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good things which God's prepared in advance for us to do. Now, as we talk about things that you can know, when, yeah, I can look something up on a computer and I might be able to read this book or do that, but what is it like to know that God knows so much about us? That God is the one who made us, that God is the one who has a plan for us. God knows us more than anybody, better than our friends, better than what we thought was someone we know and whether they like or know this. God knows everything. God knows our thoughts. God knows everything about us. So when you think about it, 
When you think about the fact that God made us, God knows us when we come, when we go, knows everything about us, how does that make you feel? How do you think, wow, God knows me and God made me and if he made me and he knows me and he has a plan for me, do you feel good about that? Is that something that's like, yeah, okay, cool. God made me, God has a plan for me, yes. Or are you like, uh-oh, God knows? Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go get that. <laughs> or do you go, hey, God knows. You know what? God, I'm gonna come to you. I know that you know me. I know that you have a plan for me. So how do you feel to know that God knows everything about you? And how can you know that God knows all about you? So as I think about things that I can know and I can look things up and whether I'm on my computer or, oh here, hold on, let me look it up on my phone and I can look up information. There's more things that I can stand here and know in my heart that God knows me. And I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you have a lot of brothers or sisters or if you grew up all by yourself. That was me, it was just my mom and I. And I don't really know how many people knew me or knew what I wanted to do or what I liked or anything else because it was just the two of us and maybe your mom or dad or if you're with your grandma or something they're working all the time and maybe you're at home by yourself and you just don't know what people think about you when you think of that. I want to tell you that God knows you as we read there in scripture and there's many other examples in, throughout the Bible of how God knows us uniquely, knows things about us. Jesus knew about the future disciples. He knew about the woman at the well. He knew, and he knew things about them that nobody would know. And there was no internet back then like, oh yeah, here I'm gonna look up Nathaniel and I'm gonna find out about him. And oh, I'm gonna look up the woman at the well and aha, I can see on her Facebook page. There was none of that. See, God knows so much about us that you should rest assured. That's a big word. You should rest easy. You should be like, you know what? Thank you, God, for knowing me. Thank you, God, for making me. And I don't have to look on the internet or try to read this or do that to try to figure things out. But when I know how much God knows me, and if he knows me, he knows that how much that he cares for me and how much he loves me. So when it comes to what you know and who you know about others, please know that God knows you. think about how we know people well how do you get to know them it's not just because of something you read on the internet or what somebody tells me but if you really want to get to know someone and be a friend with them you spend time with them you learn about them you have experiences you play games together you get to do all kinds of things you play around and do stuff and when you think about a friend isn't a friend someone who really knows you and if you stop and you think about okay well who really does know me and why do they know me? Stop and think about that. Think about, okay, who is a really good friend? Okay, you got that? Okay. Well, why are they a good friend? Okay. And do they know you? And if they do know you, how do they know you? And why do they know about you? And what do they know about you? I know that I can stand here and tell you that I have some good friends. If something were to happen, whether it be really good, or I need some help and I need someone to be right here, I know that I have some friends that I can call and I can say, help, be here right away. I think it's good that we have friends and we have people that know us. But having a friend who knows us, who was there when we were created, who has a plan for us. And that's what I'm talking about when we talk about Jesus and how much he knows us. Now I want to tell you a story that happened in the New Testament. It's actually in the book of John. And it's about a man by the name of Philip. And Philip was excited because he learned about Jesus. He learned that Jesus was the Son of God. He was the Messiah, the one they were waiting for. And he was telling his friend Nathaniel about this. And he's like, you won't believe it. This guy, he's the guy we've been reading about and learning about. See, they grew up learning about that this was gonna happen. And now it's coming to life. And you gotta meet this guy, you gotta see him. Well, Nathaniel was like, oh, okay, I guess. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. So Nathaniel came with Philip and went over there to see Jesus. 
Now, I don't know about you, but when you meet new people, sometimes you're like, oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Or if you meet new people, it's like, oh, hey, hi, how are you? What's going on? Instead, see, guess what happened? Nathaniel came with Philip, and Jesus, his response to Nathaniel was like, oh, hey, I'm sorry, what, what's your name? Who are you? What, what's going on? Instead, Jesus greeted Nathaniel like he knew him all this time. He ended up telling Nathaniel about where he was before. And like, yeah, you were underneath that tree and you were doing this and that. It blew Nathaniel away. <laughs> it blows me away. Why? Because nobody knew. He's Jesus. He knew all about Nathaniel. Just like God knows all about us, there's all these examples in scripture about how God knows about us. Jesus knew about Nathaniel. There's a story about a woman in a well and he knew all about her past and different things. See, I want you to know that we can stand here today and not be afraid that, oh no, God knows all about us and what we are. But we can actually stand here today and say, God knows all about us and what we are and what we are about. And I am thankful that God loves me. I am thankful that God knows me. I am thankful that God has a plan for my life. So as we look at who knows us and who really is a friend and how they know us, I want you to know that God loves us, that as God knows us, that God cares for us and God has a plan for us. So that as we go and we look at things and we wanna make sure that we're subscribed and dialed in and watching and learning all kinds of stuff, one thing that we want to learn is that God knows us.